Okay, today I'm, I'm here with Lillian Lee. Um, Lillian, uh, I believe that it, you also go by Lee Jin, if, that, if that's right. Is that correct? Yes, that's my Chinese okay. name. Got it, got it. And we are honored to have her here. She was the team captain of the Chinese national team. Um, she she uh, was on the national team from 1978 to, to 1986, um, attended later uh, Nankai University, um, and she's going to share some of her incredible experiences with us um, and what it was like in China swimming and, and some of her national team experiences, hopefully. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much, Lee Jim, for joining us. Thank you, John. Appreciate the opportunity. I'm excited. Uh, it's our pleasure. So um, I just have a, uh, a few questions to get started here. Um, what, what got you into in, in, started into swimming to start with there? Well, it's a actually interesting story. I think uh, most of the Chinese at my age would understand. We had a half day of school. So my parents um, just uh, trying to build the time and, and put me into swimming classes and dance classes so boys classes. So I started uh, my swimming lesson that way. And I obviously fell in love and um, just kept the swimming uh, and used more of my not in school times and quit the dancing class and other classes. So I, that's how I got started as a little girl. So, so where did you, what part of China did you come from? I was in Tianjin and that's uh, about 80 miles from the capital Beijing. And that's a great place. My wife comes from there as well. So. Yes, yes, yes. And I know your wife. Right, right. right. So, and, and you guys went to school together. So, so you were from Tianjin to start with. And then um, was, it, was there a lot of pools and availability that way? Or how did that happen? Well, it's, um, it wasn't like today. Now, back then, it was a very limited um, uh, swimming pool, especially in the winter time. Uh, I swim and I practice swimming um, in a very small pool. It's like, um, you know, less than, less than um, 20 meter. Okay. In length and only three lanes. So it's very small. That way is, uh, you know, conserves energy and all that. So back then, China was different than it is now. And, and, and you have so many people there. I'm sure there's so many people who want to use the pool and there's only three lanes. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so we did have a, a starting with lots of kids and then just, um, you know, with the competition or with the, each swimming needs and that they try to select, uh, you know, top 10, top 10 here, top 10 there. So that's, uh, um, it, it was an uh, honor to be able to swim in that little, very humble um, pool. I don't think it's there anymore. It's just, right. I remember our big pool was four lanes, <laughs> 25 yards, right? About Is the that right? Yeah. 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 How, do you, how do you progress in, in the system over in China to get to the point where, from what I understand, you get selected, right, as, for the national team? How, how does that happen? Yeah, we had uh, like monthly um, swimming meets in the area and among schools. Um, weekly among schools and then monthly in the area and then quarterly um, uh, among the districts. So it's just a one level um, after another. And, and, and is some, everybody aware even at, at the age, that young age, of, of this is uh, a potential of you sometime going on to be on the national team or is it more just a fun thing at that point? At the beginning, like I mentioned at the beginning, to join the swimming uh, class, nobody was uh, really aiming at uh, going to the national team. But uh, when you compete uh, in, at the city level, Tianjin is a uh, large city. Um, back then, it was even uh, more than 8 million people there. And, 
So uh, when you compete at uh, city level, that um, lots of girls, uh, I was one of them wanting to better myself, definitely. So, so you could tell right away that you were in something that had a future here and, and this was going to be uh, an honor if you, if you made it forward, is that type of thing? Yes, yes, and uh, lots of help from the coaches, and uh, also um, at 11 years old, I was uh, going to uh, uh, compete at national level, so that uh, was another opportunity for me directly to be seen by the national team coach. So, uh, that, is it a lot of pressure? No, no, that's a, you know, I think it's because the age or because um, I, looking back, I, mean, I, I had the conversation with my daughter that um, she was saying there wasn't any competition. And, you know, for me, there wasn't any competition. It was easy for me. Mm -hmm. And now it was so hard for her. <laughs> Lots of competition. <laughs> it, was it came natural to you and right. And got it. Yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I really did it for fun um, back then. Um, it's just um, didn't feel lot much of um, competition, but it, it, looking back in reality, you're selected among, you know, so many others that mm -hmm. uh, it must be lots of competition. And the selection that we hear about, is that mainly from the fact that you won races or is mainly from the fact that you're so tall? What, what happens? How do they say Well, that? it's definitely not that I was so tall. I've never been so tall. Right. And for, that's one of my um, um, childhood dream that I could just overnight and grow <laughs> six <laughs> inches, right? Yeah, I was always uh, top five from the bottom in terms of height in the national team. Um, but uh, the selection based mainly um, at, you know, how you um, win the competition, different Got levels it. of competition. So, um, it so it's pretty a, cut and dried who won, who didn't. Yeah, so everybody knows. And of course, the potentials would be another way that uh, coaches select you and to go for a higher level. Do you ever remember somebody that, that w was trying to make it and didn't? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There are lots of them. Even um, at the national team, I always remember that the one girl that uh, did get to the national team, and we had a formal team member, which I was uh, selected, and she was, uh, because her coach was selected to go to the national team, and she went along so she oh she tried so hard she tried so hard that couldn't make it but um and her spirit you know the way that did, she was determined and actually inspired a lot of us so in that way it's that, amazing isn't it the ones that aren't necessarily winning but they have such like you said such dedication and 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 it makes everybody else better Yes, and that's one thing I love about swimming. Mm -hmm. So swimming, another thing is that I learned, and lots of people think swimming is a individual uh, event or individual sports. I find it's um, a just as much as a teamwork and as um, you know other like uh, volleyball and things like that. And there are lots of. Uh, um, coordination and, and uh, collaboration and you know it's just um, um, just like what you pointed out and we work together yeah and right. make uh, one another better got it and so um, as you as you progress and do you remember when you found out that you were going to uh, make the national team what that what that feeling was Yes, 
Yes, I, I remember that. And there was a, another story that uh, my coach from the national team always teased me about. <laughs> is, um, and they went to, um, you know, to check uh, during the meet, actually, an um, uh, age group meet. And my coach came uh, to see me and, you know, let me open my arms and see how long my arm is actually a lot longer than my height so that's I, I remember why. that you've got you've got some long arms right yeah that's <laughs> I, got a, that's, those too. I can like almost reach the bottom of my foot without even bending over just to scratch <laughs> <laughs> this uh, yeah arm span yeah so she checked on me and uh, flexibility and all of that and so she was gone for another day or two and she came back and you know had me doing different things again so I said so what are you looking for and what what are, why are you checking me like this and <laughs> um, um, coach was saying you know other kids would uh, do whatever she says and I was the one questioning her and she you know she, she uh, said um, that um, and she can't kind of like that and in a way but uh sure she has a lot of interest and in, and in, right and somebody that's willing to, to dig in a little bit interesting right right yeah yeah how did your parents feel about you um making the national team do you remember so my parents um were a lot more open-minded uh, than uh, some of other parents in that um, time period I would say, and I gave my parents lots of credits, and they um, pretty much uh, understand that's what I wanted to do, and they want to support me. Um, you know, at age of twelve, I had to leave home, and they were concerned. Wow. Yeah, fortunately, fortunately, was uh, you know a couple hours of train ride, they could. Um, go and see me and when i was uh, selected by the national team in the um, same time i was also selected by two army uh, swimming team and one is in wuhan the other one is in uh, shanghai mm -hmm. so um, my mom said no you're going to beijing so i can visit you <laughs> yeah at least i can visit you and during the weekend Wow. And do you have any, uh, any siblings or is, uh, are you? I have a sister. Yes. Older, younger? I have a uh, elder sister who um, is three years uh, older than me. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to let me go either. Right. Or sisterhood, <laughs> but she was happy really for me. Now. And so then you got up to the, to the national team and what, what do you see in, in your, personality or your capabilities what got you to be the captain of the national team because that's a big honor if i'm right thank you yeah that's uh, indeed that was um i think um one thing you that, that you weren't the fastest swimmer there right i was not the whole time i was in national team i was not the best uh, fastest uh, swimmer but I think one thing that uh, got me selected as a uh, captain was that uh, I um, connected with people and I had um, the, um, a way of uh, getting people work together or play together or having fun together. So you and kind of synergize, you could pull them together and lead them. Yes, yes. And uh, I was uh, also trying to get them to the classes. And, you know, we spent lots of time uh, training from morning to night. And we have three mornings that are designated for um, classroom, uh, like um, a basic regular school work. And the training was so tough and lots of people just uh, uh, sleep through that. So I was the one trying to get the people. You were kind of hurting them, huh? <laughs> way over there. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So I think I, that's... I think I have a little of that in me as well, which 
<laughs> and and I was the captain of the team too, so of course, right? That yeah, you're. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So oh, you know, right? We're yeah, good shepherds, right? <laughs> yes, yes, sometimes, and you have to, yeah. Right, and help the people along, and then and then after you did all that, you decided to come over to the states. What what made you want to come over to the states? Well, and, um, and believe me, I'm glad you did. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's, I, I told people I swim to uh, the United States because I had a swimming scholarship. Okay. My, um, one of my best friends from uh, the national team came to Northern Michigan University first. Mm -hmm. So she was just helping uh, the coach recruiting mm -hmm. and recruiting um, each year in new swimmers and she knew i was at nankai university so i could uh, possibly pass that english as second language test right. you know we had lots of swimmers but not too many of them that could just uh, you know take the exam uh, english ex uh, english language exam to pass and so she asked me and then the coach and called and asked me, and um, I I decided to give it a try. My uh, mom did not, uh, you know, was very hesitated, but uh, I told her I would be back in a couple of years, and no worries. <laughs> and she did tell me then, saying, once you're going there, I don't know when you're coming back. I said, what do you mean then? After I graduate, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. So she knew better, I guess. She could see it, huh? Wow. Yeah. And, um, and, and so after college, uh, you decided to, to, to stay or did you go back and then come back? How, how did that go? No, I, I stayed and um, um, I got married and uh, I had a uh, you know, um, different job and um, had my daughter. And, and she's oh. a swimmer too, is that right? Yes. Yeah, right. It's, in the, it's in the blood. <laughs> yes, it's in the blood. And, and uh, swimming also uh, helped build her character. And she admitted that. And she is um, um, still, you know, casual swimmer. And, you know, as an exercise, just as I do, um, but uh, she, through high school, she was uh, on the team mm -hmm. and she um, won Division Three um, titles in um, Michigan. Fantastic. Yeah, she, she was a good. Um, so, so she's an swimmer. excellent swimmer as well. Wow. And so what, very, now, you were a, you're a distance swimmer, right? I'm. Middle distance, right? You would say 400 IM. And oh, I was thinking anything, anything from 100 and up for me is distance. Just you know. <laughs> You're a sprinter. Just <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So, so a middle distance swimmer. And what about her? She is uh, a breaststroker, okay. and um, I am her. And she actually uh, did do 400 uh, freestyle. Mm -hmm. So, and she's not a sprinter either. Got it, she's, got it. She's much taller than me. Uh, so so she got the height <laughs> that you were looking for. Yeah, she got the height, definitely. I just, um, that's always I dreamt about. But, but it seemed like even though maybe you didn't have the height, you still were able to win. Well, I think my... Um, 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 I guess uh, I went at the technical aspect, and my technical uh, aspect is um, so I tried to because I didn't have the height. Or what could I do? And uh, I had to work around, right? <laughs> so work out other the, ways to do it and get the yeah, job done. So, yes. so for those for those swimmers and the and the parents and the coaches. They say, oh, I've got a, a you know a swimmer here that's uh, you know that's, that's not as tall as some of the other swimmers, things like that. What what's your message to them? Is it is it time to uh, to find another sport, or can they do it in, in swimming? 
it's not I all think, I think if they have the passion, by all means, to do swimming. And we have, uh, you know, one of the great swimmer at my age was um, uh, Janet uh, Evans, right? Yes, Janet. She, she, she is not uh, that tall. Mm -hmm. And she was, uh, or long distance, or, or 202, 15. Uh, so if it was all about height, right? And, it wasn't. It, it, this is a really important part because I'm, I'm one of the tallest people you've ever met, right? I'm five, <laughs> I'm five foot ten and a half, five foot eleven. I'm not. That's right. right. And so right. if it was all about height, we might as well just measure everybody and then not race and just give away the medals, right? But that's not right. the way swimming works, is it? No. It's about no. passion. It's about effort. It's about right when when you're behind, coming back, and all, or, or or if you're getting ahead, staying ahead. So it's really more about what's inside the person than the outside body. Do you ever meet somebody? They're like real tall, giant person. They get this little tiny personality inside, and then Definitely. sometimes you meet somebody that's not very big, but their personality can't be held back by the boundaries of their body. They're just amazing individuals no matter what size they were extremely well put yes yes definitely yeah as a swimmer that uh, you really you know it's great if you do have that height and you have all the you know flexibility and all that but when you don't that um, a technical side and you can use more of your brain and uh, you know analyze what you do and working on the details and those are you can win by way of uh, swim smarter right right so, so the idea is if you if you don't have one thing then find another there you go yes that's yes. the way it is in, in everything in life isn't it in it's life like, that's who, who's tallest wins or who's best looking wins or whatever it's not I mean, if it was best looking, right? I've had it for sure. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. You're, you get rid of me. Well, long ago. But but really, when it comes down to it, it, it's it's really more than that. There's a, a combination of things that you put together, and and you found that in your swimming world. I found that in my swimming world that we can become great at what we do, in in because we want to. And because we search and dig in and we, we can become leaders and we can do all kinds of things in life, right? It's an amazing experience we've had, don't, don't you think? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, determination, mm -hmm. uh, perseverance, resilience, and all those characters, and especially for people who feel that uh, they're shorter in height and that those are even more important, right? I have got a, a a question a little bit off the, the the beaten pathway, but what does swimming mean to you? Now now at this point in your life, you look back, what does it mean to you? What what does it what did it do? Swimming is um it's part of my life. It's part of me. It becomes part of me. And um, you know, with the the national team and what was like and winning that was past and that was a, my previous life. I don't even think about it that much. But swimming is still uh, quite a bit uh, um, of me, of my life. And I, I've been telling people what I missed the most during this uh, pandemic is swimming. It plays a major role, right? in in your life way beyond when you're competing it continues to echo through your life yes yes yeah and I, I don't know how you felt but i felt like it's even meant more to me in some ways later and like the the, the ability to be tremendously dedicated to what i do even though right it, it may not be like involved in actually pulling water or something but you know it, i'm very dedicated to the things that i do and yeah, I, um, I'm so impressed that the way that uh, you dedicate uh, your whole heart and soul in this uh, helping people and developing their skills and uh, making them a better swimmer. And, you know, with the um, cutting, a, cut, cutting edge 
technology that is just amazing you know each time and i think about that and i don't know how you do it and how you even first had all these ingenious ideas i'm just amazed i like i I know i know um when when i met you i felt it's so funny but i felt very close to you right away and I, i i think i noticed this and it's not just swimming because we also have the connection through my wife and things like that. But I feel like we're brothers and sisters in different parts of the world doing the same thing. And I don't care what age we are. I don't care any of that. It's just we're all brothers and sisters and we're working together. It's a big family. And what you thought was your your competition back then, you become friends with later. You know, and, and I know, you know, from the American team to the Chinese team, we'd be battling it out. And then later we're eating dinner together and, and, you know, our families are together and things like that. It's, it's just okay. so, it's such a unique situation that we, that we all, and I think we all realize that we, we've done the same things just in different places. Yes. I think the connection also because uh, we have that the swimming and swimming almost like a make us who we are and make us a, a better person and we're trying to um, share that, you know, uh, by uh, by way of um, swimming, whether as you get people to swim and as an exercise, or like you dedicate your time, effort, and to help um, people, um, swimmers and top swimmers compete and as the best they can be. So swimming make us a um each of us a better person in terms from the character perspective um or in life or in health right so it's almost like a microcosm for learning about swimming uh, learning about life right Right. all the things they they taught us and and you know when you get tired you know go harder (laughs) wow that's a that's what my coach, when I came to U.S. and I, I told her, I said, that, in, uh, that um, interval, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And she yells at me, go faster! That's, <laughs> yeah. that's it, right? That's what we're taught. When you get tired, you go harder because that's when you really, um, you know, develop. And then uh, can consider in a, in a business world later, if you had a swimming background, right and and you're involved in teams like we were and you go what what do you bring to a business when you when you have somebody that when they get tired they go harder right how do you get an employee that does that you know and that's what they're teaching us that's what our life is all all about is right you, you know you fall down you stand back up right and you stand up back up better than you ever were Yes, and we were taught that way, and we we almost um, um, coached that way. That that's the only way. That when you that experience, is, right? that's that's how you do it. Yeah, that's the <laughs> only way. Yeah, when you experience a plateau, and the only way is that you get over it, mm-hmm. and you and don't just back up, right? So right. So obstacles get in your way, and it's literally just at that point a question of how you get around it. It's not if, right? You're going to go through it. You're going to go over it. You're going to go under it. You're going to find a way around it somehow. And that's what we're always taught. And so these incredible coaches that, that put that in us. And sometimes we don't even realize the things that are in us later in life, that that these gifts that they gave us and the belief in ourselves that we can accomplish almost anything. Right. And, and you can, you can, you know, you go to compete and if you lose, you shake their hands. And if you win, you shake their hands, you wish them good luck or you, right? These are all really important things. I never see, for instance, um, people in the business world that do, you know, that, that are that are working alongside us as competition. I never look at it that way. And I never looked at my competition as a bad thing. I like my competition and I like them to be as fast as possible. And, and you and I both know why that is. They make us faster. Yes. <laughs> Yes, exactly. And I couldn't uh, put in, in nearly as well as you have, but I totally agree that uh, our competition 
um, makes us better. And in, at the same time, we compete with ourselves and, and we don't see it. Our competition isn't our enemy. So as uh, our right. you know, rival. So that's, uh, um, that's make us better, uh, right? <laughs> yes, that's another thing I learned about swimming. And it's um, just a great uh, character building experience for me. So, so I'm going to ask you a question. I, I, I think it's a rhetorical question. I think I already know. But would you ever wish you went back in life, all the way back to when you, right, you were going that day to, to swim the first time, and wish you missed a lesson and didn't turn down this road and become a swimmer? Or would you like to, are you very happy you went down this road into swimming? Absolutely. I, I was happy if I, I could do it again, I would, wouldn't have changed much of anything, not the, the, you know, the swimming part. I would still do it all over again. I love yeah. swimming and that's, a, um, you know, that, that's part of me. I'm so glad that uh, my parents I, I, I think I think we, we've got the title of it here. <laughs> That's part of me, and it sure is, and that's wonderful, and 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 it shows, and and it's a wonderful part of you, so that's great. Thank you. Thank well, you. thank you so much for I could talk to you all day. I, I really appreciate it, Legion, uh, coming in, and we're gonna, uh, you know, look forward to hopefully having you back again sometime if you would uh, be willing to join us. This has been terrific. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it, John, and best luck on whatever you're venturing. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Well, we're always cooking up something, right? <laughs> yes, everything is wonderful. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm hoping we can uh, collaborate a little bit in the future on stuff. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Yes. Thanks. I love that. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, John. Bye-bye.